This is the spot, Y girls. Captain Rocco to Luna. Do you read? Loud and clear. Oxygen levels remain stable, Captain. <laughs> Are you ready to initiate phase two of the mission? Just finished, Captain Rocco. One tiny step for Y girls, one giant leap for space flag fashion. In the name of the Y girls, I, Captain Rocco. <laughs> Alien invasion! Yeah! These boots were made for running, and that's just what they'll do! We have to get out of here to the Y ship! <laughs> What's that? What should we do? Why are you asking me? You're the captain! Gang, I panicked. <laughs> Not even the real Y girls have ever encountered the wrath of the cat. Actually, they fought a space cat once in season eight, episode four. Wow, you really are their number one fan. And you'll be their number one best dressed fan, too. Who else can claim to have show accurate working space tech complete with shortwave radios and lasers? <laughs> <laughs> We've got the Sci-Fi Con Costume Contest in the handbag. And even better than that, I'm meeting THE Captain Rocco today. <sighs> Go big! Let's get our sci -Con on. Nothing can stand in our way. Well, except maybe all of them. It wasn't so bad. It only took us two hours! That means my selfie with Captain Rocco is in 15 minutes! According to the con map, Rocco's selfie booth is just over there. <gasps> we'll never get through that line in time. Then maybe we should give up on Shawnee's selfie and hurry to get our costume contest entry photo taken. We're not giving up. There's always another way. Snacks! Get your con snacks! We can hitch a ride on the chew train! Tiny power! Check out that wicked costume! Whoa! Now this is the con life we were meant to live. It's a DIY spandex paradise. Such ingenuity, such craftsmanship. But I still think our costume should win the contest. <gasps> Look, a drone's a destruction drone. <laughs> Ooh, looks like not everyone is having a blast at the con. I recognize her from something. Autograph, headshot, only $10. Okay, $5. Free? Looks like you're the only one. <gasps> wow! There it is! The Y ship! Ooh, that looked good sitting in that. What I wouldn't give to take a spin in that thing! Wouldn't we all? But it's the model they used in the show. It's got all the details of a working ship. No working engine. <gasps> one cotton candy coming up! Abandoned ship! <laughs> <laughs> that was close. You okay, Shawnee? Rocco. My hero. <laughs> right on sketch for Ultimate Sophie. Meeting your hero's gonna be great, right? <laughs> Go big! Okay. I'm your biggest fan, Rocco. No. 
I'm your biggest fan, Captain. Captain Rocco. I mean, Captain my Captain. Chill, Shans. You look great. You've got this. Just tell her you admire her bravery, leadership, piloting skills, and disappearing maneuvers? Where did she go? Excuse me, I'm scheduled to take a selfie with Captain Rocco. I know I'm a little early, 39 seconds early to be exact, but this is the most important selfie of my life. Thank you for sharing that very interesting story. What she means is, where's Rocco? Guess she took a break. Now? For how long? No clue. She wasn't scheduled to break for another, like, hour. Don't worry, Shawnee. She'll be back soon. It doesn't make sense. Captain Rocco always operates according to a very precise schedule. No wonder she's your idol. <gasps> I meant that as a compliment. Kinda. That's not what I'm gasping about. Look! Captain Rocco's costume was ripped. Signs of a struggle. Do you think someone kidnapped her? I don't know, but we won't be sure until we find her. Totally. Right after we enter the costume contest. Lila, this is my hero we're talking about. The sooner we find Rocco, the sooner we enter the contest. She couldn't have gone far in this crowd. We just need a bird's eye view. Oh, my girls' comics. Rare drones of destruction, extended universe issues. Ditch the books, Gwen. I'm only here to buy miniatures for my collection. And of course, to look for Polly Pocket. Gigi, oh. you promised. Fine. One Polly free day. There's Rocco. Yeah, I see her. Right there. Oh, no. Half the people here are dressed like her. Uh, what's that? All right, folks, look up. It's Drones of Destruction time! Who's ready for some epic drone battling action? Polly. Except that we're definitely not supposed to be back here. Let's jet before someone sees. Can't. We got a mod quad down. <gasps> Someone's coming. Hi. <gasps> I knew she looked familiar. She was the Pluto Turian villain in Why Girl Season 6, Episode 9, Scene 57. Well, it would have been Scene 57 if it hadn't been deleted. You even know the deleted scenes? Of course. Why wouldn't I? Oh, you know, maybe because they were deleted? I don't know why they ended up cutting the scene where Captain Rocco gets kidnapped and tied to a... Rocket? <laughs> Hush. I'm trying to prepare for my big scene-stealing moment. <gasps> Captain Rocco! We're moving! Hide! <laughs> okay, we just have to sneak back. We're on day alert. Make like an action figure and freeze. Ooh, miniatures. This one's interesting. <laughs> She's glued to this drone. I guess I'll give you a discount for the three Y girls and the drone. That sounds like a pretty good deal. Do you know if they have articulated appendages? The last figures I bought from a con date. They were a limited edition 3D print, which I thought would have a good value. But as it turns out, they used a cheap grass. Huh, and I know it! Habit. Scram, and tiny pocket! This was supposed to be a pocket-free day! Uh, I don't like this one. Why don't you get a super scene instead? <laughs> oh, Gwen, you can't spot value the way I can. <laughs> I'll take them all! This is me 
majorly messing my mojo. We have to help Raku before she gets rocketed. Then we have to get out of here. Want me to carry that? No, it's much too valuable. Uh, but it looks heavy and you're old. No, oh, it, it's not heavy. And I am as spry as a spring chicken. Maybe we can carry it together. What's gotten into you? <gasps> Let's enter the costume contest. All you gotta do is pose for a picture. You promised this was a special day for both of us. <laughs> okay, okay. But quickly. As Lila would say, the whole bag look isn't working for me. So how about we give it an alteration? Fashion to the rescue. Okay, okay, here's your little costume contest. Hurry up and enter it. No, I want you to enter the contest. What? Why? Uh, because your costume is awesome. What costume? Next. When? That's my get oof! Uh, this bag isn't part of the costume. It had ruined the whole thing. I want everyone to know how beautiful my Chi Chi is. So you need to get your photo taken and enter the contest. I suppose I could show these kids a thing or two about style. <laughs> there you go, Polly. You're not gonna ruin my... huh? Uh, I can't help but notice we're running away from the costume contest. Later, Lila. We'll get there. I know. The gal strapped to the rocket is more important. Besides... Okay, let's save our captain. Quick, this way, while the coast is clear. Genius, because it was cut from the episode. Oh no, she's getting her revenge for being cut by rocketing Rocco. But fear not, because you're gonna see me now. Rocco and I will be performing a new scene inspired by the deleted one, but rewritten by moi. Which includes Rocco screaming for help. A lot! Help! She's trying to shoot me into space and fry the whole con! Wow, well, what I tell ya? Who's ready for a rocket show? <laughs> She's really gonna hurt Rocco! Shh! I'm trying to watch. This is worse than bad stitching! We need to do something. Wait for it. You want us to wait in a moment like this? Any minute now, Rocco will use her hidden rope cutter to free herself, just like she did in the deleted scene. Watch! You don't have to do this. Is it money you want? I have money. Maybe she forgot about it. How could she forget? She always cuts the ropes, then sends a message back to the ship. <gasps> That's it! Our comm bracelets work. And according to the director's commentary, so does the Y girls. We just have to find what radio frequency she's on. Leave it to me. Got it. Set your comms to 92.5. Rocco, come in, Captain. <sighs> For years, I dreamed of the day that Rocco would be in my clutches. Captain Rocco, my name is Shawnee. You need to do exactly what you did to escape in the scene. Use your rope cutter, then deactivate the rocket's countdown by destroying the control panel. Deactivate a rocket? This is way above my pay grade. Use the tools in your sleeve. I don't know how to use them. What? But you're the captain. I'm not Captain Rocco. I'm an actor. My real name is Carolyn Katani, and I'm strapped to a rocket. I'm going to be rocket fuel, and this is definitely going to give me split ends. She isn't half as brave as Captain Rocco would be. That means she needs your help more than ever. You're right. 
Captain Rocco always said someone has to be brave. And that someone has to be us. We have to get up there and save her. But how? That thing could really get us somewhere, if it could fly. What if it can? The quadcopter might not be able to fly right now, but we could use its parts to give this spaceship rocket power. Don't worry, Captain Rocco. We're coming for you. Here's the turbo throttle. And that's the speaker activator. Huh. There's the chute release. Shawnee, you should be piloting this ship. You know this spaceship much better than me. And probably better than anyone on the show. But I can't. I'm not like Captain Rocco. Captain Rocco isn't like Captain Rocco. We need Captain Shawnee. Okay, if I remember correctly, the fuse is connected to a timer. Hence the gargantuan clock. Captain, you give the orders. How do we proceed? Come on, Shawnee. I'm not about to let this dastardly diva fry super sci-fi con before I can enter the costume contest. I can't. I just don't know, Shawnee. If you can't save her, no one can. All right, girls. You're right. Let's go save Rocco. You two free Rocco. You have all the tools you need in Lila's expertly crafted costumes. Bam! Fashion to the rescue again! But what are you gonna do? I'm gonna stop that rocket! It was I, the great villainous Queen of Pluto, who would finally bring about Brave Rocco's downfall. Getting you out of here, Rocco. Thanks, whoever you are. We've got a problem. Our tools won't work on metal. We can't cut through it? We can't leave Rocco. We need another way. Shawnee, we can't free Rocco. It's up to you! Okay, I've got it. Bart Payne, hi. Listen, I know you're upset that your scene was cut, and it was totally unfair, because you made lots of interesting choices. You saw my scene? You liked my choices? Of course I saw it! And now, instead of being the villain, you can play it differently. Choose to be the hero. Just let her go. I don't care about being the hero. I only want people to remember my name. And now, they will! Uh-oh, 10 seconds to take off! Y Girls Laser Force Tag 2000 helped my accuracy, and every Y Girls fan knows the Y ship has a parachute under every seat. I set it on the collision course and jumped out with the chute. Easy. You saved the day, Shawnee. Yeah, you're much braver than Rocco any day. I'm just glad Captain Rocco is safe and sound and back in her element. Posing for pictures. Oh. <laughs> Barb might actually 
actually get her 15 minutes of fame after all. Now, what do you say we enjoy this con a little? Go big! Today was way cooler than I could have imagined. Even cooler than getting a selfie with Rocco. But I'm sorry we missed the costume contest, Lila. Me too. I... Attention, ladies and gentlemen! The winner of the Super Sci-Fi Con annual costume contest is... Lila Draper! With her impeccable renditions of the Y Girls! Huh? Ever hear of entry by email? OMG, OMG, OMG! Whatcha doing, Gigi? Checking on the con costume contest. It appears they forgot to call me to tell me I won. Hmm. Vindictive actress tries to shoot celebrity into space. Oh, sounds like someone I'd like to meet. Ha! Here it is. Uh huh. Uh -huh. <gasps> Polly Pocket was at Super Sci Fi Con? And she won my costume contest? Oh, wait! Those world rats look just like my new figurines. I. Uh, I had her right in my bag. But didn't we have a nice poly free day? Well, no. 